Hi! During the next 10 minutes, you will learn how to use Docker to set up a dev environment for the OpenMRS Atlas. After a quick Atlas presentation, we will see how to use Docker and how to contribute to OpenMRS Atlas using Docker image. OpenMRS Atlas is a website on which members of the OpenMRS community can register their site. During this summer, the Atlas was refactored to allow community members to add and manage their site directly through the website. Atlas environments use several components. It's, it's a PHP application that uses Laravel framework. Atlas uses a MySQL server to store data. Moreover, we use other components such as PhantomJS, Composer to manage dependency, and require OpenMRS ID dashboard to authenticate users. So now, why Docker? We decide to use Docker to improve developer workflow. Docker is an open source project that uses Linux kernel functionality to run process in isolation. Docker has two major components, that is Docker engines running on your local laptop, and Docker Hub, that is a web platform to host Docker image, to install Docker, you can follow the good documentation on the Docker website. Moreover, um, Ubuntu user can just uh, execute this command to get the latest version of Docker. Windows and macOS user need to install boot Docker that run a um, light virtual machine optimized for Docker. Right now, you will learn how to work with image and containers. Pull command will download an, an image from Docker Hub to your local repository in order to use it later. Docker Run will create and run a container using an image. There is three execution modes that are background, foreground and interactive. You can find more information on Docker website. You can forward ports between the host and the container using the p command. You can, you can share folder between your host and your container using the volume parameters. You can pass environment variable inside the container. Docker has a lot of other parameters such as host name and uh, the name of the containers. It's easy to start and stop containers using docker start and docker stop. To see running container, you can use docker ps. You can show your image on your repository using docker image. Be careful, docker image use a lot of space on your laptops. You can use this command to clean your repository. So, you're ready to run your first Atlas Docker application. First, we clone Atlas repository. Then, we pull OpenMRS Atlas image from Docker Hub. This step can take about 5 to 10 minutes for regarding your internet connection. We can now run the container. First, reset environment variable host IP that is required by Atlas. Then we mount um, the repository folder from your host to the OPT Atlas folder in the container to share the source. 
Then we configure port for port forwarding, HTTP port, HTTPS port, and port to authenticate the atlas, and finally SSH port. We name the container atlas and set the host name inside the containers. Last parameter is the name of the image you want to use to build the containers. If you have an error like that, it's because um, Apache is running and your ports are already used. So what you have to do is to stop Apache. Then remove the container and try again. So when you run the container, um, Docker executes um, a script that configures your environment. As you can see, dependencies are downloaded to your host folder you share with the container. Finally, you can see that the script starts supervisor that run multiple daemon in the container. We have SSH, Apache, MySQL. Now we are going to make some little change on the atlas. As example, we will remove um, OpenMRS logo. After refresh, you can see that the logo disappeared. You have now a ready to use Atlas development environment. When you finish your work, you can stop the containers using Docker Stop with the name of your containers. If you want to start again the containers, use start. Uh, this time uh, the container is running in background. You can see running container using Docker PS and container logs using Docker logs. During this presentation, we don't see how to create a Docker image with Docker file. Um, moreover, uh, be careful, this uh, container is not optimized to be used in production. If you're interested in to, to learn more about Docker, you can go to my GitHub account and see how we build uh, the container and how we create the image using the Docker file.
this is a docker file that used to create image the scripts will be run each time we run the container thank you for listening if you're interested in docker you can get more information following these links